Zach Bingman here, Ag Explorer Sales Acceleration Leader. Jason, would you mind introducing yourself? Hey, good morning, Zach. My name is Jason Fettig. I'm Technical Agronomist for Ag Explorer uh, in Northern U.S. Jason, to fill everyone in, we have discussed the importance of the reproductive phase, Onward Max, stress mitigation, and the technology in Onward Max. Let's put it all together and go over Onward Max and the importance of having it on your farm. Jason, will you give us your key takeaways from the conversations we've had thus far? And to finish it off, when can this be applied and at what rate? Yeah, Zach, so I think key takeaways are we've done everything right to this point. We've done what we can to uh, take advantage of what Mother Nature gives us. And uh, we're in that red zone. Uh, we're in that reproductive phase. So now we want to turn all that nutritional that's out there. We want to do uh, the right thing for the crop to maximize yields. Uh, we want to mitigate any stress that, that that plant, corn, soybeans, whatever it is, uh, might be going through during its flowering and reproductive phases. You know, and plants uh, are most sensitive to stress during times of reproductive phases. And this is the time we want to mitigate those stresses. Um, and, and really what we're talking about with Onward Max is a product that mitigates stress, that helps us turn all the pods, all the kernels into yield. Um, and keep as many of those as possible. And it's very simple. Uh, so we talked about simplicity. It, it can go right in with a fungicide shot. It doesn't have to go in with a fungicide, but our timing is R2, R3 on soybeans, which is, is right where a fungicide uh, shot usually goes, or tassel time R1 in, in, in the corn, um, again, with the fungicide. So our rate stays the same between corn and soybeans at 6.4 ounces. We, this, like I mentioned earlier, uh, this product can go on a lot of different crops um, and we use it in several specialty crops, you know, and those rate ranges will, will change a little bit there depending on the crop. as well. All right. That will wrap us up here. I am Zach Bingman. Jason, as always, thank you for coming on and sharing your expertise with us. This was our last video of a three-part series. Be sure to check out the other videos. Catch you next time.